All right, guys. So by now you should have watched the Khan Academy videos uh, to help you understand how to read a stem and leaf. Uh, this is something that is not new to you. We have looked at these before. We're just going to look at them just a little bit more today and probably when I get back. That's the plan. Okay, so um, how are you going to submit this assignment? Well, this is similar to what you did yesterday with the dot plots. Um, you're going to write down the numbers into the text box, but you can see here that I don't have a text box. So I'm going to hit Submit Assignment. And once I do that, then uh, I should get a text box. If I get the file upload, then I need to click here for text entry. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna come my information. If you can, guys can't see all of this on your screen, you can't see the text box and the, the graph here, then maybe write these numbers into your journal and then you can scroll down here and just copy them down, okay? So what numbers do we have here? Well, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna attach this one to this one. So this right here is gonna make 11. So I'm gonna come down here and type in 11, then I'm gonna put a comma. Okay, and then this one also attaches to the three, so that makes 13. All right. The one attaches to a four, makes 14, comma. Uh, and then I'm gonna continue like that, okay? Now, once you're done, the number of leaves, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the leaves, once you, if you can count all those leaves, the number of leaves is gonna match the number of numbers that you have down here, okay? And then you're gonna, then you're gonna submit your assignment once you have done, once you have finished it, okay? If you don't submit the assignment, it's gonna make you redo it. Okay, so finally, I'm, I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna show you one other one that's gonna be a little bit confusing, but I wanted to give you some of you guys a challenge on this one. On stem and leaf four, Okay, this is going to be look, this looks a little different. We have a stem here, and then we have leaves on both sides of it. It works the same way. You're just going to read it uh, two different ways. So the way what they're doing here is what, these are grades that two classes have. These are the grades for class A. And this is the grades for class B. So right here, I have this six is going to attach to the zero to make a sixty. This six is going to attach here to make a six another sixty. So two kids in class B made a sixty. Okay. Now in class A, this six is gonna to attach to the eight and it's gonna make 68. Remember, these are the tens places, okay? So don't, don't switch this and make this 86. This is 60 and an eight, 60 and a zero, so six zero. So this class, we have a 60 and a 68, okay? Right here are the 70s. Looks like this class made a lot of 70s. The 80s, the 90s, class A did much better. They have a lot of 90s. They have a 90, they have a 91, a 92, a 94, and so on. And then right here, we have 10 tens, which would make 100. So this would be one zero zero. There's one 100 and then another 100, okay? Um, so that's how you're gonna read it. You're just gonna read it on both sides. Just remember that stem comes first, okay? And then you attach the leaf to it, all right? So same thing here. You're gonna submit the assignment, uh, put it into the text box, and then, um, and then submit. Finally, your last assignment is not here. Okay, I messed up on that. I will fix that, but what you're gonna do is you are going to uh, create a stem and leaf for me. I gave you the numbers, okay? Um, you need to create it in your math journal, okay? Make it look nice and neat. You do straight lines. You need to get a ruler to make the straight line or, or whatever. Um, and then you're gonna have to make sure it's organized. Notice that these are all organized. They go from least to greatest by the stems and then the leaves also go from least to greatest. Okay, so keep it organized. Make it in your math journal. And then you should be able to hold up your math journal to your computer and take a picture of it. Okay, once you've taken a picture of it, submit. Uh, and on that one, that one's gonna be the uh, file upload. Okay, so you're gonna put that picture in there, upload it, and then send it to me. Okay, uh, that's your assignment today. Once you have finished, what I want you to do is if you have any work that you haven't finished for this week, you need to go in and you need to finish it. Um, if you would like to email me, you can do that. Um, if, um, if you want, I will let you have the option to make a Google Slides. Um, Make, you can make another one about geometry, okay? So you can do the lines and shapes if you wanna, if you wanna make uh, that one or add to the one that you already have. Um, and finally, if you want to, you can, uh, you can do the regular things that we do with Phoenix's mind activities, like you can read, you can write, 
you can do Xavier School, you can do any of that stuff, okay? Hopefully you guys are being good. And, uh, and that's your assignment for today. We'll talk to you later. Bye.